Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, Scala's fold left, fold right, and fold. When you want to do uh, any operation on collections, like if you want to reduce a list, uh, for example, add values in a list, uh, concatenate strings in a list, um, you can use uh, these fold operations, uh, which are a little different from uh, reduce, but we can talk about the differences in some other video. So to uh, begin with, uh, I have this uh, list uh, which has a, which has uh, strings A, B, C, and then I want to fold left on them. Uh, so when you look at the fold left, you can see it has, uh, it takes two parameters. The first one is initial value, um, and then uh, it has a, a function as a second parameter. Uh, and this function has two parameters itself. So in case of for left, uh, m, the, the initial value that you, you provide uh, is gonna be the first parameter for this function. Uh, and uh, the first element in the list, a in this case, is gonna be the second parameter to the function. Uh, this is all uh, just a printing out to show you how it works, but this is actually what function is doing. It just basically, it's just adding them up, like concatenating the strings basically. Uh, so after the first iteration, uh, we have empty uh, empty string, and it, this is a. When it comes here, it's just going to be a because the first one is empty. Uh, so you, as you can see, m is an, uh, empty string, and uh, a is the uh, result at the end of the first iteration. So now, a is going to be the first parameter to the function uh, and b is going to be the second parameter to, to the function so now it's going to be a and then b so at the end we have a b this is the, this is the string here a b now for the third iteration a b is going to be the first parameter uh, as you can see the pattern that's why it's called accumulator uh, and uh, C is going to be N. So after the end of the third iteration, you're going to end up with A, B, C here. So that's the, that's the four left. Um, <clears throat> so two key things in this one is uh, the initial value that you provide, uh, parameter to the four left, is uh, going to be the first parameter. And the list here is evaluated from left to right, which is a little different uh, for fold right. So for fold right, um, let me get this here. Fold right, it's a little bit different. So let me evaluate this. By the way, I'm using a, a Scala work workbook. Or I think it's called worksheet or workbook. Um, uh, new, I think it's workbook. Uh, worksheet. I'm sorry. You can run uh, Scala directly in here and evaluate. It'll print stuff for you. Uh, so uh, next, uh, let's talk about fold right. Fold right is a, is a, a similar uh, thing in the sense like it has two parameters one is the initial value and the second one uh, second parameter is a function uh, which uh, takes two parameters just like for left uh, so uh, but but the difference is uh, the order of uh, uh, how it works the execution so in this case the first parameter comes from the list not from the initial value like in for left that's the key difference it comes from the list and it comes from the uh, from the right side of the list all the way at the end it's, so the list is actually evaluated this way going from c b and a uh, so that, that that's the key difference uh, so m is going to be coming from uh, uh, is going to be the a in the first iteration and uh, this empty string is going to be second parameter to the function so at the end we will have uh, M concatenated with N, which is uh, uh, C basically, 
uh, let me actually do the evaluation on this here. So which is going to be C as you can see right here. That's C right there. So in the second iteration, uh, in the second iteration, this is going to be an accumulator. So now we have C here, uh, and then M is going to come from the list B. So now after, uh, at the end of the second iteration, we'll end up with B C. Uh, see as you can see B and C B C of second iteration, and. Uh, third iteration uh, it comes from uh, the list which would be a and then uh, n here so the second parameter is going to be the result of the second iteration which is the uh, bc so we'll end up with a b c as you can see here a b c uh, so the end the end result though it's uh, in this case it's same uh, but uh, I think the uh, the order of uh, execution, the operations, uh, are are the key differences between fold right and the fold left. Uh, uh, and the fold, the fold works the same way, except uh, the uh, except the order in which operations are performed is unspecified. Um, there is no guarantee as to whether it's going to go from left to right or right to left. Um, for it's useful because uh, it's useful when you want to do things in uh, parallel. Uh, so because of that, there are two additional conditions unfold. The first one is a uh, starting value must be neutral uh, in the sense like uh, it has to be nil for list concatenation, zero for uh, uh, int. Uh, one for multiplication uh, basically it has to be an identity value uh, this is necessary as fold operation can work in parallel uh, so what it, what it means is basically uh, it, it can take empty string and add a at the same time it can take empty string uh, add b in parallel and it can take an empty string add c in parallel so because it could do that, uh, there is a possibility of doing it because of that, the initial value here has to be neutral. Uh, and the other thing is a uh, fold is done on a super type of uh, value given in the collection. So those are the two key differences. Besides that, uh, it's, it works mostly like for left. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, I'm going to add uh, uh, a link to my blog, which has uh, more details uh, in the description below. Thank you. Bye.